Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to create and format complex tables on a Windows MS Word. And here's how. Section 1. Inserting a basic table. First, open Microsoft Word and find the document where you want to add a table. Once your document is open, look at the top of the screen and click on the Insert tab in the ribbon. This will open a menu with different options. Look for the Table button and click on it. When you do this, a grid will appear on your screen. You can use this grid to choose how many rows and columns you want in your table. Simply move your mouse across the grid to highlight the number of rows and columns you need, and then click to insert the table into your document. If you want to have more control over the size of your table, you can instead click on Insert Table from the drop-down menu under Table button. A dialog box will pop up, allowing you to type in the exact number of columns and rows you want. After you have entered the numbers, Click OK and your table will be inserted in the document exactly the way you specified. Section 2. Adding and Organizing Content To start entering data in the table, first click inside any cell where you want to begin typing. Once your cursor is in the cell, you can start typing in the information you want to include. If you need to move to the next cell in the row, press the Tab key on your keyboard and the cursor will jump to the next cell to the right. If you want to go back to the previous cell, Hold down the Shift key and then press the Tab key. This will move the cursor to the cell on the left. If you are typing in a cell and need to add a new line without moving out of that cell, you can press the Enter key. This will create a line break within the same cell, allowing you to type more information on a new line within that cell. To merge cells in your table, first, click and drag your mouse to select the cells you want to combine into one. Once the cells are highlighted, Right-click on the selected area to open a context menu. From this menu, look for the option that says Merge Cells and click on it. When you do this, all the cells you selected will be joined together into a single, larger cell. This can be useful when you want to create a header or need more space for content in a specific part of your table. To split a cell in your table, start by clicking on the cell that you want to divide into smaller sections. Once you have selected the cell, Right-click on it to open a context menu. From the options in this menu, choose Split Cells. A dialog box will then appear, asking you to specify how many columns and rows you want to create within that single cell. You can type in the number of columns and rows you need. After you have made your choices, click OK to apply the changes. The selected cell will then be divided into the number of smaller cells you specify, allowing you to organize your content in a more detailed way. Inserting and deleting rows or columns. Inserting rows or columns. Right click on a cell where you want to insert a new row or column. Select Insert from the context menu. Then choose to insert a row above or below or a column to the left or right. Deleting rows or columns. Select the row or column you want to delete. Right click and select Delete cells. Choose to delete the entire row or column, then click OK. Section 3 Formatting the table. Applying Table Styles Select your table by clicking on the Table Move handle, a small square with four arrows, at the top left corner of the table. Go to the Table Design tab on the ribbon. In the Table Styles group, hover over different styles to preview them. Click on the style you like to apply it to your table. Customizing Borders and Shading Applying Borders With your table selected, go to the Table Design tab. In the Borders group, Click on the Borders button. Choose from options such as All Borders, Outside Borders, or No Border. For more customization, select Borders and Shading from the drop-down, where you can set border styles, colors, and widths. Adding Shading. Select the cells or the entire table where you want to apply shading. In the Table Design tab, click on the Shading button. Choose a color from the palette or select more colors for additional options. Adjusting column width and row height. Adjusting column width. Hover over the border of a column until the cursor changes to a double sided arrow. Click and drag to adjust the width. For precise adjustments, right click on the column, select Table Properties, and enter the desired width under the Column tab. Adjusting row height. Hover over the border of a row until the cursor changes to a double sided arrow. Click and drag to adjust the height. For precise adjustments, right-click on the row, select Table Properties, and enter the desired height under the Row tab. Section 4. 
Advanced Table Features Using Formulas in Tables Click in the cell where you want to add a formula. Go to the Table Layout tab on the ribbon. Click on the Formula button in the Data group. In the Formula dialog box, enter your formula. Example, equal sign sub, open parenthesis above, close parenthesis to add up all the numbers above the selected cell. Choose a number format if needed, then click OK. Creating a table of contents from tables. Select the table titles or headings that you want to include in your table of contents. Go to the References tab on the ribbon. Click on Table of Contents and select a style. The table of contents will automatically be generated, listing all the selected table headings, sorting data in a table. Select the column by which you want to sort the table. Go to the Table Layout tab on the ribbon. Click on the Sort button in the Data group. In the dialog box, use the column, Sort Order, and any secondary criteria. Click OK to sort the table. Section 5. Finalizing and Saving Your Table Reviewing the Table Carefully review the table for consistency in formatting, alignment, and data accuracy. Make any final adjustments to borders, shading, and spacing as needed. Saving the Document Save your document to preserve your work. Go to the File tab and click on Save As. Choose a location, enter a file name, and select a format, such as .docx. Click Save to finish. Mastering these techniques will help you organize information effectively and present it in a polished, professional manner. Keep practicing and experimenting with different table designs and formatting options to enhance your Word documents even further. Thank you for, thank you for following along and happy table making. And that is all there is. I hope this helps. And before we end this video, may I humbly ask you a favor. Please do share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you in our next video. Bye for now.